Hey everybody, let's talk today about the Zero Soft Wash Kit. It is a DIY kit that you can buy all the components that you need to customize it and make it a system that works exactly for you. Mount it on a tank, mount it on a skid, however you want to configure it. We give you all the pieces that are necessary to make it. I'm also going to show you how to put it together and a couple pieces that I suggest that you pick up on your own to make things a little bit more easy, if you will, or tailored to exactly what you need. So let's get right into it. So first of all, take the pump out and you'll see it has a simple 12 volt red and black connections. Those are not going to any type of specific couplers. Go ahead and remove the thread caps and find a barb to thread uh, section. Go ahead and get the supplied tape and wrap those two pieces. There's gonna be one for the inlet and one for the outlet. And as you can see, you wanna hand tighten them first, just so you know they can go in straight. Make sure you're not cross threading them either. Now, when you're putting these in after they're threaded and you're screwing them in, please be careful. You're putting metal into plastic, so you wanna be very gentle not to over tighten them because that plastic housing will break. So be careful when you're putting them in. If you do cross thread one, um, be very, very, careful with that you don't want to cross thread it just creates a bunch of problems for you down the road as you can see that i have done there i have cross threaded it so so next take your extra wire that is going to be going to your extending your wire um, i suggest this portion just because it makes your life a little bit easier to connect to the battery it's adding a little bit of wire um, just go ahead, put it on, make sure to tape everything up because you know there will be moisture involved with this system. Then if you're going to be connecting it directly to a battery, get a set of um, alligator clamps and crimp those into the new section of wire. Do that for the positive and the negative. Slide the sleeve back on to protect it. Now you'll see the provided J-Rod and nozzles. Make sure to take the nozzles, wrap each nozzle by itself in the thread tape. Now any connection you have threaded, please wrap it with the pipe tape. It'll stop any type of leaks from happening. Go ahead and screw each nozzle in whatever order you would like back into that J-Rod. Now take the supplied handle and find a threaded to barb and then find your thread converter and your quarter inch quick connect of course wrapping them again in teflon tape again metal into plastic please be careful uh, be gentle when you tighten it in but that should go all the way in after wrapping the quarter inch socket Go ahead and screw that in, again, being careful to not over tighten it. And now you're able to connect your J-Rod directly into the tip of the gun. Now on the back side of the handle, you'll see again, plastic threads. Find another one of those threaded to barbs and gently screw that in. Again, caution on the plastic with metal. Now cut a section of hose to whatever desired length that you'll need. Cut a little bit extra from your pump to where you're mounting the tank. Now, I've used a smaller tank here. You can use a bigger tank. You'll just have to cut a bigger section of hose. Make sure to have a section of PVC, and that PVC will go down into that hole, and that will go ahead and hold down the tubing inside of there with the supplied screen cap. Go ahead and slide on your clamp, the barb to thread, tightening that down and screwing on the fine mesh cover. And again, this is all done inside your tank once this is all run in there. On this portion, there's no need for thread tape just because it's gonna be submerged anyway. And that will go ahead and hold down the tubing inside of there with the supplied screen cap. Go ahead and place the pump in where you'd like to have that mounted and connect your inlet to the barbs that are already in the pump.
and tighten those down so you have a nice tight connection. Do the same with the handle itself, sliding the clamp over and tightening. As you see, as you can see, I'm using an impact driver to create a nice tight connection. This is what it's going to look like in the chemicals coming out. The nice thing about this system is that you can put it on any tank that you want. So a 55 gallon drum, if you need more of a upright stance or even a larger tank or smaller tank like you see here for the demonstration. Uh, it's a great system. You're going to save $1,000 or more over other systems because you're putting it together yourself. It comes with all the components. It's a great, great system for soft washing and especially roof cleaning.